guys, this is Stephen Edwards from Chapman Tax Accountant. So I'm putting together some short videos. We're, we're more than happy to answer this in more detail because that's what we're here for is to answer your questions. But we thought some people like to have it, um, certain information at hand to sort of geek out on it, it in the background. So I just want to briefly cover some of the key topics uh, and then it's there for you to refer back to it if you need to and if you want to. So what I'm looking at in this video is your limited company accounts and corporation tax deadline. So everything's regulated by Companies House. If we go on to Google and we do a search for Companies House here. But if you're new to having a limited company and you know, you've never been involved in having your own limited company in the past, it's regulated by Companies House where they hold all of the key information on your company. So you can go onto this website, click find company information, click start now, do a search for your company. I'm just going to do uh, any company as an example. So click on companies at the top. So we've got ABC Access Limited. We click on that company and you can look at on this page, on the overview page, some of the key dates and key information to do with your company. So you can see what the registered office address is. You can see that the company's active, when it was incorporated, so when it was set up. And the reason I'm doing this video is to show you the key dates, really. So without delving too much into Companies House and all that information, I just really want to focus on the dates and um, you know, when you have to sort of pay your tax for your limited company. So when you first set up a company, it's normally a year later. So this particular company, you can see they've never changed their dates because whatever date, month, you set up your limited company, it's usually the same month a year later is your first company year end. So their first company year end would have been 31st of October, 2005. So going back a few years and they've obviously kept October. So it's October every single year. Once October finishes, this is not the best time to show this example because hey, um, Companies House have actually extended the deadlines for three months. So normally once the company year end finishes, you've got nine months to file and submit your company account. So for, for an October year end, nine months would be the end of July because we'd have November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, J July. Yeah, so the end of July would be your normal deadline. For this particular co company, um, it, it's not, yeah. So October 19, it's saying it's due by October 20 because H um, Companies House have during COVID, as I'm recording this video, it gave you an extra three months. So normally this would be the end of July. So your limited company, whatever your company year end is. So if you set it up in, let's say, May, um, your first year end would be the end of May for the, the following year. That would be your first year, your first complete year. And then you'd have, you looking at the dates, you'd have June all the way to the end of the year would be seven months you'd have february february would be nine months later would be your company deadline so whatever your year end is it's nine months later that you've got to submit a set of accounts and pay the corporation tax as at the time of doing this video there's a three months extension um yeah so that's the the, the key deadline on the subject of corporation tax so you need to submit your accounts to company's house nine months after your year end uh, and that's where the, if you've got your own limited company, that's where you're going to be paying the bulk of your tax. So whatever your, whatever profit your limited company makes. So if it's made, let's say, make up a number, uh, let's say 50,000 pounds, you know, a good healthy number for a company to make 50,000 pounds. You're looking at around 20% tax, it's actually 19%, let's say 20%. So that would be a 10,000 pound tax bill. In that example, and that ten thousand pound tax would be due nine months after your accounting year end, uh, essentially. Um, yep. Yeah, so that's all I really wanted to cover today is to look at the deadlines for your limited company. In the other videos, I'm going to talk about paying yourself dividends and also your personal tax um, deadline. We'll talk about wages, expenses, and lots of other things. Thanks, guys.